So we're going to talk about how do we engage our own personal autopilot. So warp speed, Scotty, if you will. This is the agenda. We're going to talk about strategizing or planning your flight plan. You have to have a goal before you can go somewhere. Establishing a baseline. If you don't know where you're starting, you don't know where you're going to end up or how you've progressed along that uh, route. You need to engage your autopilot, and then you need to mon monitor it and verify that it's taking you where you want your autopilot wants you to go. And then you have, obviously, in a real-world envi real world environment, you're going to have problems, uh, and you may at times have to disconnect your autopilot, if you will. Change modes, hand fly, what we used to call it in the military or in civilian world, hand fly the aircraft because it's not operating the way it should. And then other problems, not quite as severe possibly, but what we used to call sometimes the master cautions uh, that require taking action even though it may not be a life and death situation. So this is what we're going to talk about this evening. We're also going to have five short little videos. It's, uh, they're going to be short. There's only six and a half minutes uh, in total, but uh, they kind of emphasize a few points, and they're also interesting. So the first one, as I said, is strategizing or planning your flight. So we need to zero in, as I said, on your purpose, mission, goals, any aspirations that you have. And the best way to do that is to have explicit and challenging goals so that you remain on course. And a lot of you are aware of uh, the acronym SMART goals, and I have SMART and goals here, and I'm going to go through those briefly. First of all, they need to be specific. What exactly am I trying to accomplish? They need to be measurable. If we can't measure it, if we can't track it, then we don't know if we're making progress or not. What is our action plan? How are we going to get there? Is it realistic? Many of you know that if you have a goal, is it realistic? Is it achievable? If it's unachievable or if it's too high in your, in your system, then you may not be able to accomplish it or you may get frustrated. And it needs to be on some kind of timeline. So under goals, you want to grow. In other words, how do I use my mentor? If you have a mentor, that's great. How do I close any skill gaps or education gaps that I need? And I need to have an obsession. If this is very important to me to achieve this particular goal, what is my passion and how do I go about doing it? And then we need to align ourselves with our own individual personalities and our customers or whoever we're trying to accomplish that goal for. And we need to lose false beliefs in ourselves and any barriers that we created for ourselves. And we need to see victory, visualize victory in our minds. Continuing, double and triple check your planning, first of all. When we used to fly cross-country, especially when we were across the Pacific or the Atlantic, if we didn't program the equipment correctly, you can get in a lot of trouble. And I'll talk about that a little more in a second. But you need to make sure your flight planning is correct. Focus on your destination. Identify that passion we talked about. Investigate before uh, attempting something new. Um, my wife will smile here, but many years ago we went uh, skiing for the first time, and I read a lot of books, thought I was uh, pretty knowledgeable about skiing, and that was fine, and I wasn't going to take any instructing uh, beginner's lessons because I thought I knew enough. Well, there were two lifts, uh, one that went to the top of the bunny slope and the other one went to the top of the hill, and guess what? I got on by mistake. So.